Hey guys, peak this Medjo Jordan album. They have this song called Give Your Love Away. Give your love away. Which the intro kind of fades into that song, which is the second track on the album. And then the outro, they pick up that second track. Watch that peak that Chris Brown. I kind of talked shit before this album dropped. We've had this from Chris Brown before. He's dropped an album with too many songs and we're like, eh, 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 nah. This one's actually pretty good. Like, I'm vibing with it. Metro Boomin, 21 Savage, and Offset. Pop, pop. Without no warning, first of all, who saw that coming? Before you ask, is um, the Gucci? Are they Prada? They're that Forever 21. Y'all heard. Earlier this week, I was late to work and I was standing at the bus stop for a good 10 minutes and the bus finally comes through. All I gotta say is Calgary, it shouldn't be just Vancouver, it shouldn't be just Toronto, it should be a world ting of saying it here first. There needs to be a late slip that the driver gives out while you're entering the bus. I'm X minutes late, here's a note for your whatever you're going to, to work, to your doctor appointment, to go pick up your, whatever it may be. Why am I paying the full amounts? Why were you late when I already put my route on my Google Maps trying to find the location of where I'm about to go and then on top of that I end up 20 minutes late. The reason that I was talking about this whole work thing, um, I love my job, not talking shit about that. I work at the front desk where people sign up and become members. I've been noticing 1994, 1995, 1996 and I'm just looking at these people and they look so grown. Damn. We have grown to that age. We're at that age right now. Like, I can't even believe. The whole reason why I'm like, I look in the mirror, I still see, like, obviously some changes or whatever, but I you see, like, this whole grown adult perspective thing. It's just like, whoa, let's step back. It's kind of hella dark in here, so need to change that around. Sorry, because I don't know why the sun decided to go down. Like, oh. Daylight savings, that's what it is. I'm like, it's literally five, why? My story gets to the venue, which is at the Peony, and as I'm standing there, I see this long line. Oh, just like a law-abiding citizen, I went to the back of the line, stood right there, and waited patiently for two hours. I was probably stuck between the worst thing. There was three, high school kids behind me just talking about how the girl that the girls that they have dated in the past are so stupid because they didn't pass chemistry and bio like hello I am one of those girls shut the fuck up you're literally so annoying and I can't believe you're talking about this like out of all things this before an ASAP mob concert it's nice going to a concert by yourself because at that time I didn't have to worry about oh where's my squad me myself and only pulling up to the scene I'm like let me do this let me get the full experience I make my way I'm literally front center and it's already being all like topsy-turvy pushy shovey like, I feel the mosh pit vibe about to be brought on. ASAP Rocky touched stage. And when ASAP Rocky touched stage, Lamborghini hops, I'm a button pit. This is how it is. Get these men in there. Don't call it a cardi. He legit money bag. Check those out. He noticed the only dark skinned girl with short hair like holding her phone up, trying to catch something. I swear, ASAP Rocky took a second and was like, hold up guys, dead ass. Like this right now, like dead ass eye contact. So the beautiful ladies aside, we don't want to hurt them. Okay, Zaddy, Zaddy, I see you. I was pretty impressed actually that I did not fall or get stomped on. I feel so sorry for the girls that did. I hope that you were fine. I'm so sorry. It was actually a very scary scene. So I have this tendency of like getting too lit and just knocking out. This is the time that I had to do it by myself. And I want to say that I'm pretty proud. I was dehydrated. I was tired. I was, I couldn't handle the mosh pit anymore. And I was trying to make my way out. I literally was just like falling asleep on people as I was pushing my way out because nobody was listening to me. Like, I don't want to be in here. You guys can have more fun and you guys can have people that actually want to do this with you. Just let the people that don't want it out. So I go to the bartending table and I literally just slam my body on there and I'm like, what? And he's just like, I'm like, fuck your money. Like, 
Why? Why do you care about your money? Like, I'm literally dying. Do you see me? I, I had my wallet open and there I just had no life in me to actually exert any actions because I literally was going to pass out. Yeah, that was my little experience. It was dope as hell. I kind of got lost on my way home. I went to Burnaby. I don't even know how it happened, to be honest. I was just so happy to finally be home. I have to see my favorite songs off of ASAP 12 the album and off of the Cozy Tapes 2 album. I'm sorry if this is horrible quality. Bye, guys. Enjoy the SoundCloud.